नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज व्हाट आर द बेसिक कंपोनेंट्स ऑफ डॉट नेट प्लेटफॉर्म द बेसिक कंपोनेंट द बेसिक कंपोनेंट्स ऑफ द डॉट नेट प्लेटफॉर्म इज सी एल आर दैट इज कॉमन लैंग्वेज रन टाइम एम एस आई एल दैट इज माइक्रोसॉफ्ट इंटरमीडिएट लैंग्वेज कोड जे आई टी दैट इज जस्ट इन टाइम कंपालर framework class library that is fcl common language specification common type system garbage collection so common language runtime that is clr the is the most important part of the dotnet framework also called as dot net runtime in short it is a framework layer that resides above the operating system and handles manages the execution of the dot net application our dot net program don't directly communicate with the operating system but through the clr the next thing is that microsoft intermediate language code when we compile our dot net program use any dot net component language like c sharp vb dot net c++ dot net it does not get converted into the executable binary code but to an intermediate code called msl or intermediate language in short understandable by clr msl is an os and hardware independent code when the program needs to be executed this msl or intermediate code is converted to binary executable code called native code the presence of intermediate language make it possible to cross language run relationship as all the dot net complete language produces the same similar standard intermediate language code <coughs> the next thing is that jet that is just in time compiler when our intermediate language compile code needs to be executed clr invokes jet compiler which compile the intermediate language code to native executable code for the specific machine and operating system just in time compiler in many ways are different from traditional compiler as they as their name suggests compile the intermediate language to native code only when desired example when a function is called intermediate language of function body is converted to a native code just in time of needed so the part of code that is not used by a particular run is not converted to a native code if some intermediate language code is converted to native code then the next time when it's needed to be used the clr uses the same copy without recompiling so if program runs for some times then it won't have any just in time performance penalty the next important thing is fcl that is framework class library dot net framework provides a huge set of framework class library for common usual tasks fcl contains thousands of classes to provide the access of to windows api and common function like string manipulation common data structure input output strings threads security network programming windows standard library and much more data access common language specification earlier we used the term dot net component language and stated that all the dot net component languages can make use of clr and fcl but what makes a language dot net component language the answer is common language specification microsoft has released a small set of specification that each language should meet to qualify as a dot net component language as intermediate language is a very rich language it is not necessary for a language to implement all the intermediate language functionality rather it means to the small subset of its cls to qualify as a dot net component language the next thing is that cts that is common type system dot net also defines a common type system like cls cts is also set of standard cts define the basic data types that intermediate language understand each dot net complete language should map its data type to these standard data types this make it possible for the two languages to communicate with each other by passing and receiving parameter to and from each other for example for example cts defines a type integer 32 an integer data type of 32 bits which is mapped by c# sharp through integer and vb dot net through its integer data type the next thing is that garbage collector clr also contains a garbage collector 
which runs in a low priority thread and checks for unreferenced dynamically allocated memory space. If it finds some data that is no more referenced by any variable or reference, it reclaims it and re returns the operating back to the operating systems so that it can be used by another program as necessary. The presence of standard garbage collector frees the programmer from keeping track of dealing with the data. We'll move on to the next questions.